Hello, this is Dr. Gay, and this is a quick case of a quadriceps fat pad impingement. So this is a sagittal T2 view, and we can see that above the patella, there is darkness in the quadriceps fat pad. So the quadriceps fat pad is one of the two fat pads above the patella. There's one anteriorly here, we call it the quadriceps fat pad, or the anterior suprapatellar fat pad. And it's dark instead of bright, like fat should be, and you can see a little, a little bit of swelling too. Or it's hypertrophied or swollen. Now, the fat pad back here, I've never seen this one inflamed before. Um, probably have, it's been inflamed, but I have never noticed it. This is the prefemoral fat pad or the posterior suprapatellar fat pad back here. And this is the quadriceps fat pad below. And this one is more commonly inflamed. A lot of times people will have uh, patella alta, lateral patella subluxation, and they'll get fatty impingement right over in the lateral superior corner right here. And that's actually quite common. And this is less common. And I'll put up this view right here. And here we can see that the quadriceps fat pad is enlarged, kind of hypertrophied, and it's edematous. And so quadriceps fat pad impingement, supposedly from abnormal mechanical forces. They put abnormal strain on it, and then it becomes edematous and swollen. And that's it. So thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.